This video is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Wrapping up another adventure, and before I took down my truck, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you pretty much what the setup is for my DIY slide out camper extension for my F-150. It's got a five and a half foot bed, and there's basically a two inch extension that slides out. And I made it myself, and um, you can check it out in this video here. You can watch this one and watch that later. Um, pretty much show um, how I made it. So this is the inside of the extension. Let's see here, Scout. Not thrilled that I'm videotaping. So that's the back of the truck. And so Scout is on a tri-fold six inch memory foam mattress that um, when I'm not sleeping, I tuck it away and uh, kind of makes more room here. So I have all this area to kind of put my stuff and gear and that sort of thing, even organize things. These side uh, cabinets here, they're just modular. They come out when I'm not using my camper for an extension. And I cut out some holes on each side of them just for storage. The sheets that I wrap around the camper extension and the top of the pickup truck are right there on the left. And I, they're just black sheets I just tuck in there and some of the gear that I use, um, fan and that sort of thing for inside when I'm sleeping uh, is near Scout's nose. And that's that. So really how this thing works is there's another panel here. I'll show you. That's my check. So this panel is, this panel just slides out. You can see here. So this panel really is just kind of sitting up here. So what I do sometimes is I take this out if I'm cooking off the tailgate. So I'll take this out, push the extension back in. And because I have uh, one of those Ford uh, ladders that come out, I don't really have a perfectly flat tailgate. So I find that this kind of just sits on a tailgate and makes for a better work surface than um, kind of the corrugated with the flip up handle and all the stuff that is my uh, tailgate. So that's what I do with this. But if I'm not cooking off the tailgate and I'm closing shop and getting uh, ready to go, this just slides back onto here. So it basically just slides onto there. So you now you can see the uh, bed liner. So there's basically a two foot gap. So that really this whole section here just slides into it. And this thing is really just floating. And this is just floating on top here. So when I get home, this actually gets stored on a table in my garage. And I'll show you what I mean. That's all it is. So this just floats on top of the tailgate, slides in. That's really all there is to it. It's pretty manageable. So like I said, when I get home, I back my truck into the garage and I slide this out onto a table in my garage and then it just stays there. It's modular. So the shelves, the flooring, everything that's the camper completely comes out and I'm very easily left with the completely empty pickup truck bed because I also had a modular holder for my mountain bikes that I use. And I use my truck for deer hunting and everything else. So you can't be completely a one trick pony. I gotta be able to take this stuff out and use it for other things. So I thought I've never really explained how this really works um, as far as how it looks in, on the tailgate. So I thought you might find it interesting if you're into pickup truck camping. So the biggest part when I built it was kind of matching the contour of the topper, which um, I did a pretty good job. And it slides in fairly easy with you know as little gaps as possible. And basically all I do, slide it in. And that's it, tailgate gets shut. Scout's in there, so I gotta get her out of there. But um, that's it, and then when it's time to get to camp, slides out. There's no rails, it's just simply plywood sliding on the bed liner. So really simple, easy, easy to do. 
So the next part of my DIY setup is something I'm really proud of, and it is the awning setup. So I shopped around for awnings in different kind of scenarios and how I could set up an awning, but you know most um, kind of overlanding setups, the awnings off the back. I mean I know they do have you know 270 degree awnings and all that stuff now, but I really wanted to keep it simple and keep the price down. So what I did was I got a Yakima Slim Shady awning, and it's the only awning I found that has quick release um, clamps on it. So what I did was I measured the distance between my roof rack and where the bars were and I created my own set of bars off the back and those bars are the same distance apart. And, this, and the whole point of that is that the um, awning is a little wide to just leave off the back. Um, it's much wider than the truck and you don't want to drive down the highway or let alone um, tight uh, logging roads and that sort of thing. So it's not ideal to drive with the awning off the back, much safer to drive with the awning off the side, which, you know, ideally that's what it was meant for. But I don't do anything off the side of my truck, I do everything off the back of my truck. So I show you how it detaches and, and goes right back on the side of the truck, out of the way, doesn't really take up any space, and it really quickly goes on the back of the truck. And the and what works great with the setup is that the window from the topper mm -hmm covers the gap between right here so it almost extends the coverage of the awning and uh, again no water comes here it drips down here this is all waterproof and then I have all this area here so that there is all open but when the top of the window goes up it's on this angle so the water flows away it gets there and then here it's all nice and waterproof and just enough area for me to cook off of crawl in when the toppers out onto the edge of the tailgate I can still get out protected from the rain and do what I have to do get dressed without getting soaking wet so I've been out in the rain with it lots of times it works perfectly um, if things get really bad I do have awnings where if the wind was really blowing I do have some tarps I could set up to give some side um, kind of protection from the rain but you know for the most part I'm not I have but for the most part, I have rain gear and everything else, so I really not uh, ever had that big a problem for me. So yeah, this is for my camping in the rain and snow, and it's worked out really well. And I'll show you how it all packs up. So there you go, just a quick video on my setup and if you can maybe utilize something like this for yourself, great. Um, again, I have a 2012 F-150 with a five and a half foot bed. Uh, this factory's got no lift on it, no um, leveling kit, just some off-road tires from General and it's worked great. I can pretty much get uh, all the places I need to get to. Logging roads in Ontario and Canada generally are in fairly good shape. And with the Canadian Shield, you know, the rock holds up pretty good. So I've been able to really get out and explore with this setup. And yeah, the awning, you know, the extension that pulls out such a quick setup that I can go, you know, fish somewhere and then pack up and kind of be back at camp or create camp anywhere in a pinch. And, um, you know, I've, sl I've, um, I've slept at uh, river access points for fishing. Um, so it's fairly stealth, you know, they does come out, but I backed into spots, pull the extension out, and nobody knows, uh, you know, what's going on back there, and wake up in the morning, and the first one on the water on the river. So it's got a lot of advantages, and I just thought I'd make a quick little video to kind of show you and explain to you the setup if you haven't seen it already on my channel. So thanks a lot. Hope uh, you enjoy the video. Cheers.